everyone. Today, like the title says, I'm going to be doing my TBR for the Cramathon. So the Cramathon is a readathon held slash run by Whitney from Witty Novels. I will link her channel down below. It goes from the 9th to the 12th of July, so this weekend. And it's just like a small readathon where you can just read a whole bunch of books over a weekend and do some challenges if you want and sounds like a whole lot of fun so I thought I'd give it a try and I've never actually done a readathon before but I thought this, why not make this my first one let's do this <laughs> and seeing as that's seeing as it only goes for a few days I decided I wouldn't make my TBR for this readathon too ambitious because honestly I never really read more than like of one book in a weekend. I decided to stretch to about three books during the Cramathon. So one book a day should be doable if I read more than usual, but it doesn't matter if I don't write. So yeah, let's get started. So firstly, I'm gonna, if I happen to be reading a book before the Cramathon starts, I'm gonna keep reading that and finish that and count that to the Cramathon as well. And the first full book that I'm going to choose to read during the Cramathon is, I don't have a physical copy, I have the ebook. It is Highly Illogical Behaviour by John Curry Whaley. I can't in case you want to see. <laughs> so I'll probably be reading this on my phone because that's where I mostly read my ebooks. It seems short and fun and quick to read, so I decided I'll try to read this during the Cramathon book. <laughs> The second full book that I'm going to choose to read during the Cramathon is Yellow Brick Wall by Danielle Page. It's another pretty short book that should be doable in a day or two. I don't, I've been meaning to, I've read the first two books in this series and loved them and I've been, I've had this book for a while and I've been meaning to read it, I just haven't got to it. And I thought, seeing as the Cramathon's coming up, why not read it this during the Cramathon? They're, these are always so much fun to read anyway, and I'm really excited to see how this series continues. It's always so great. <laughs> so following up from Yellow Brick Wall, this book is kind of related to is that book. And so this, the last book that I have in my TBR for the Cramathon is the Dorothy Must Die Stories. It's not really a full book, but these are stories, and and I thought, seeing as I'm reading Yellow Brick War, and if I'm like running out of time during the readathon, if I'm reading like I'm running out of time, <laughs> okay. if I uh, happen to run out of time, on a really, a really quick thing, I can just read, I don't need to read all of the stories in this book, I can just read one or two stories from here and count them as separate little books and they're good quick things for if I want to read something really quick at the end of the readathon. And also seeing as I'll be in the mood for reading Dorothy Must Dice and reading Yellow Brick Wall, why not read this straight after? <laughs> so that's my TBR for the Cramathon. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you're wanting to do the Cramathon, what your TBR is. And I hope you enjoyed this video and yeah, that's it. Bye.